This popular game is shutting down, Rolls is giving people a virus, Rolls now costs money to play, and so much more insane news today. So if you're new, please subscribe to get closer to 4,000 subs. Thank you, let's get into it. Firstly, let's start something pretty interesting. Cricket Frisney put out this tweet saying, in New York City filming a secret Roblox thing, and then he put this image. And all of you probably recognize the person's name is J Party. And if you're wondering who and where J Party is from, he's a dude like who always does like Bloxy Awards or whatever. So a lot of people are assuming that Cricket's gonna be a part of the Bloxy Awards this year somehow. Because like that's what J Party's known for, that's what he like always does. And like all the comments are just like being like surprised, like wondering like what's going on. Because it definitely has to do with like the Bloxies or Innovation Awards. And many others are also wondering if there's other YouTubers involved, not just Creekcraft. So I mean, yeah, pretty interesting, and I wonder like what this actually means. Like if Creekcraft is part of the Bloxy Awards, like what is he going to do with the Bloxy Awards? Because he says that he's filming something, so like he's not going to be at the Bloxy Awards. So I'm wondering if he's going to like be presenting an award, or like he's going to have like a segment or something, I don't really know. It is pretty interesting to see though. And hopefully if this is for the Bloxy Awards, it means that it's going to be better and like maybe more community oriented. But anyways, next we have a huge scam going around that involves the YouTubers like Flamingo. Public up of this. I want to begin awareness post that EG servers is full of people pretending to be me and my friends, Albert, Dennis, Caden, Jake, etc. And it's completely fake. They ask for money, Robux, fan art, etc. for fans who believe they're talking to the real people. So as we can see here, there's a lot of popular Discord servers that are pretending to be YouTubers. Like this one here that they showed Albert's basement pretending to be Flamingo. And like the tweet said, what these guys do is they pretend to be popular YouTubers. And since people, or like especially younger kids, don't know any better, they assume it is the actual YouTuber. And then from that, and then from that, they try to take a bunch of like Robux from the people, or like fan art or whatever, which is pretty messed up. In the replies, Polarcup also responded saying that like they've been trying for a long time to get these shut down. And she even said that like nothing even came out of it, like she's like tried to take them down, but nothing really happened. And also, all of these servers are bad because they're like scamming people, but also for the fact that like it's a bunch of probably like little kids hanging around with adults. Like it's just like an overall really weird thing going on. At this point, it's more than just like a scam and people using like a YouTuber's name. But the thing is, it really works. Like in the examples that we've seen, a lot of them have like a couple thousand members. Like this Albert one has like over a thousand members, and then like this one has like 400 members, and then that other one has also like 400 members, and those are just like a few examples. So there are like thousands of people in these type of servers and they're being scammed by people who are pretending to be like Flamingo or Dennis or whatever. So it's pretty insane because obviously little kids just assume it's a YouTuber so they wouldn't mind like giving them Robux or whatever not knowing that they're just like getting scammed. So I mean yeah, if you're in one of these servers or you know someone in these servers make sure to probably just like not interact with them and leave the server because these are pretty dangerous and they're just trying to scam people. That's like the only goal of them. And to add further, Polico said that there's no like official Discord server for them. So there is no like official one to join, so obviously all these are fake. But anyway, that's actually something pretty interesting. Over the last few days, a lot of people have been saying that Pet Simulator X is actually ending. A lot of people in the Pet Simulator X community have been like posting about this, and it all started when this game was found apparently, saying the Pet Simulator X final event test. And as you can see, it's by the big games like Grouper or whatever. And because of this, a lot of people started reposting this image, and a lot of people thought that the game was actually ending. Like I also had a tweet on it, and like a bunch of other people are tweeting about it. And I mean, at first, if you're in the Pet Simulator X community, this actually makes kind of sense. For two reasons. Firstly, as we've seen, Pet Simulator X has a history of making like a couple Pet Sim games. They had Pet Sim 1, they had Pet Sim 2, and now Pet Sim X. So for a long time, people are already anticipating like the next Pet Simulator X, like Pet Simulator Y or whatever, Pet Simulator Z. And also secondly, for a long time now, the Pet Simulator X devs have been working on another game called Happy Pet Game, which many are assuming is like a sequel to Pet Simulator X. So all the information in combination with like this new like discovery or whatever, a lot of people genuinely thought that Pet Simulator X was gonna end, and that they're gonna release like a new one maybe. But the thing is, this is all fake. It was just like a big hoax to troll people. Pet Simulator X is not actually ending, and people are just like trolling people. But the thing is, like I mentioned, that they have like another game, and that like they have a history of making new games. This is actually a possibility, even if it's a fake. A lot of people in the community actually think that like soon enough we will get a new Pet Simulator X game, because they have been working on something for like a long time now that we've seen, and they do have a history of making new Pet Sim games. Although the thing is like, Pet Simulator X was like the like the biggest one that they ever had. Would they really make a new one after that? I feel like there's no point. Like what more can they do to the game to make it different? So like Pet Simulator 1 is very different from Pet Simulator X, but like what more can they do to Pet Simulator X to make it better? I feel like there's no point if this is actually gonna happen. Also with the fact that Pet Simulator X is so massive that so many people have spent so much time, money, and whatever grinding pets in that game. So if they just release a new game, it feels kind of like useless to them if there's no like transfer system or whatever. But overall, as for now, Pet Simulator X is not actually ending, but as we've seen from other stuff, there is a, like a possibility in the future that they make a new Pet Sim game. But anyways, move to our next story. So over the past few days, a lot of Roblox stories have popped up that have been getting people to freak out. Starting with this one saying, Breaking, Roblox is now 699 on the App Store, US players only. 
And as we can see here, it says that Rollers Cost is now $7 to play for US players. And this week actually got a lot of traction. It has almost like 80,000 views. And obviously, a lot of people started to see this and freak out. And a lot of people thought this was actually real. And a lot of people in the comments were even saying that like, oh, thank God I'm in Canada or whatever. Because people actually thought this was going to be like a real thing. But obviously, as you probably figured out by now, this is not real. And this isn't even like the first time a hoax like this fooled people. I remember this happened like a while ago where people thought Rollers was going to cost like $60 or whatever for PC. But here's the thing. If you go to this guy's Twitter account, this is like literally what he does. He makes like fake robot like concepts or whatever and ideas. And he posts them like jokingly trying to make people believe them and people actually fall for them. Like look at this one. He put out this one saying, Rolls introducing Tinder inspired feature coming soon, reserved for 18 plus players. And he makes like a kind of believable graphic and people actually fall for it. As I'm ending this section, it just came out that someone actually made a whole news article based off this fake story. Popular gaming news account Dexardo made a whole article about this and tweet about this. And he thought it was real and he said that like, oh, it's rumored that Rolls is adding stuff like this. Think about how wild that is. This person not only was fooling a bunch of people, but they fooled the whole news company to make a tweet and like a whole article about this. That's actually wild. Like they're getting a lot of hate now because they're posting like fake information. But all these like Roblox like fake concepts or whatever got so far to the point that news articles picked them up and started to think that they were real. And there were like new features coming to the website. Actually just insane, but back to the video now. They also had this one saying that like Roblox will let people share their locations. And then they had like a verify thing and they just have a bunch of these like fake concepts so if you see any tweets from like this person or any other person they're probably just ideas and jokes you shouldn't believe anything until robots actually says something but anyways moving to the next story which is pretty interesting but anyways moving to the next topic which is pretty interesting over the last few months or whatever a lot of people are reporting that Roblox studio is giving them a virus what's been going on is that when people would like download roblox studio or update roblox studio the windows like inbuilt virus detection system or whatever detects roblox studio as like a really bad virus apparently it detects it as a trojan virus which is like one of the worst viruses to get so because of this a lot of people didn't update their roblox studio and a lot of people just deleted roblox studio because they thought they actually had a virus in it and besides that it was just pretty weird in general like why would roblox studio be detected as a virus in the first place it also obviously left a lot of people concerned that they actually got a virus from this that roblox gave them a virus because of this and overall it was just like a scary and like really weird situation going on for a lot of people and most people didn't really know what to do they didn't know if this was actually a virus or if it was like a glitch or whatever. And it's been going on for a while and people didn't really know like what to do with this. But luckily I think someone posted this on the Roblox dev forum and a moderator or whatever responded saying that they were working on it and I think they did fix it eventually. Like how does Roblox Studio one day randomly become like a whole virus that doesn't make any sense. So I don't know what was going on with that and a lot of people were concerned and like deleting Roblox Studio but everything should be good now and you should be able to use it like properly. So don't be concerned about like downloading it or whatever. Think about how insane that is for people who didn't know it was a glitch. They download Roblox Studio and it says they got like a Trojan virus, which is one of the worst viruses. That's actually really bad for Roblox. I don't know how that happens. And if you enjoyed though, check out this video. Roblox to change your eyes are kind of. And I'll see you in the next one.